so points the archaic ignition system component that you'll be forever mucking around with they'll give you nothing but grief chuck them in the bin and fit an electronic ignition kit uh, you may have heard something like that in the past. I know I have on a number of occasions, but let me tell you, I don't buy into it. I've been using points on this car ever since I've had it, and apart from a little bit of routine maintenance, which I'm going to go over in this video, I've had zero problems with them. So why do I like points so much, I hear you ask? Well, one, they are simple, you know, and I like simple stuff. Two, they are reliable if you maintain them correctly. And three, they are cheap. You know, a unit like this will cost you about a fiver, meaning it's not unreasonable for you to carry a spare set around in the car. And then in the unlikely case they do fail, you can have a new set fitted in five to ten minutes, the process of which I'm going to go over in this video. I'm also going to go over how to swap the condenser because while we're in there we might as well. Now you might hear people say you need to swap these items as a pair. Nonsense, all right? I've had this condenser that's on the car is the same one that was on it when I bought the car. It might even be the same condenser that it rolled out the factory with over 40 years ago. Who knows? So yeah, with that in mind, let's get started. So you don't need many tools for this job, uh, just a screwdriver, magnetic one preferably, a set of feeler gauges like this and then a spanner for your crank pulley bolt. So the first thing you need to do is locate your distributor. Uh, it should look a lot like this, they do vary a little depending on brand or how many cylinders you've got but the telltale sign is the spark plug leads coming out of the top. Now if you have to remove any of these take note as to where they go because you do need to put them back in the same place. So first off take your screwdriver and prise off the spring clips. Now the distributor cap should just lift off. So take note with these things in the distributor cap you've got a little tab and that lines up with the recess in the distributor housing. Uh, so remember that for when you refit it. Next up, you need to remove the rotor arm, which should just pull straight off. Now notice that is keyed, so that only goes on one way. So with the distributor cap off, we've exposed the points and the condenser. So the points are here, the condenser is here. So before I remove the points, I want to show you how to go about checking your points gap. So you'll notice the distributor shaft acts as a cam. It's got one lobe per cylinder and it opens and closes the points as it rotates. So what you need to do is grab a spanner and turn the engine over by hand until the little nylon follower on the points is at the peak of one of those lobes. It doesn't matter which one. So right about there. Okay, so now you can check your points gap. Now this varies from distributor to distributor, so you need to do a little homework, find out what points gap you need. Uh, I know with this distributor, it's not 0.4 millimeters. So I've got the appropriate size feeler gauge here, and I'm just gonna insert it between the contact points. So that's pretty good, the feeler gauge fits nice and snugly in there. Uh, but if you find you're having to force the points open to get the feeler gauge in, or it's just loosely flapping around in there, then you need to adjust your points gap. But I'm going to get to that later in the video after I've installed a new set of points. So to remove the points, all you've got to do is pull off this little spade connector. Uh, now I am going to use a pair of pliers to do that. Like so. Then you need to undo this small screw. Now this is where your magnetic screwdriver comes in handy because you really don't want to lose this thing. There we go. And that's it. The points will lift straight out. So the main issue with these things is the gradual buildup of deposits on the breaker points, which eventually, if left unchecked, will cause them not to open and close correctly and give you running issues. Now, it is possible, if you want to get a little more mileage out of these things, to flat them and clean them up with a light file, 
Uh, I have done that in the past on a number of occasions, but today I'm going to be fitting a new set. Now, one last thing on these breaker points. If you find you're burning through them really quickly and having to regap or replace them regularly, there's a good chance you've got an issue with your condenser. So let's take a look at how to replace that first. Right, if you need to remove the condenser, it's a simple job of removing the spade connector from the negative side of the coil. like so, and then removing its small retaining screw on the side of the distributor. There we go. Now, mine doesn't need replacing. That was purely for your benefit. So I'm going to go ahead and refit this one. Same process, just in reverse. Now you can grab your new set of points. Notice there's a dimple on the bottom of them and that locates in the recess in the distributor base plate. Like so. Then you want to refit the retaining screw. But don't fully tighten this just yet. So now we're ready to set the points gap. Uh, so this is the easiest method I've found for doing this. First of all, make sure your nylon follower is at the peak of one of the cam lobes. And then with one hand, force the points open much wider than they need to be. And then with the other hand, nip up your retaining screw. Like so. Now grab your feeler gauge and insert between the points. Hold it steady with one hand and then slacken the retaining screw with the other. And what you'll see is the points will spring closed on the feeler gauge. Now nip up your retaining screw and remove the feeler gauge. And that should be it. Your points will be set perfectly. And then don't forget to attach the spade connector. Cool. So a couple of little maintenance tips for you guys while we're in here. The first one is to put a couple of drops of oil in the top of the distributor shaft. And then secondly is to lubricate the lobes on the distributor shaft with some Vaseline. So now you can refit the rotor arm. Remember it's keyed. Push that all the way home like that. Distributor cap is next. Remember to line that little tab up with the recess in the housing. Like so. Push your spring clips back on. And then if you've removed any plug leads, you can put them back on in the same position, hopefully. There we go. So I'd always recommend going in there and checking the ignition timing after you've done this job. Uh, if you're not sure how to do that, my younger self can show you how in tech tip number four, uh, a link of which I'll put up here. Uh, or here. Uh, it's one of those two. Uh, I'd also recommend after you've driven the car a couple of hundred miles just to go back in there and check your points gap and that's basically because that little nylon follower uh, sometimes just beds in a little bit and can change the points gap slightly uh, but other than that you should be good to go. If you like this video don't forget to click that thumbs up icon and if you want to see more of the same subscribe to the channel. Cool I will see you for the next video.
I don't buy into it. I have been using points on this. I think that's my uncle with his cattle trailer. Thank you. 